this is a shed for the Maasai people. Then what I'm about to showcase here, the circular setup here, that's where this community vaccinates their animals from. This is a GoPro waterproof casing or housing. So today I want to be teaching you how to open it. I know many people are struggling on how to open this. It's not easy. And many people are afraid of breaking it. It's expensive still. So I want to be showing you how to do it. So you see it? Here we have an arrow. Uh, pointing this direction Yeah, where well, we have this So how to do it you hold where well, you first you start by pressing here There is a button here. You start by pressing that button then You pull yeah, you pull this part You see it you pull this part So let's do it Oh Yeah, I did it so after after pulling that part, um, you there is another that there is a depression here. You hold the depression. Where is it? Yeah, it's here. Yeah, you open. You see it? I close again. I close. Do I close the entire GoPro? Yeah. The entire oh. so it's now closed. I know many many of us first are, pray, are afraid of breaking the the water casing. So we start afresh. You start by pressing this button, right? You press, then you hold. So I press, then. Pull this part. Yeah, done. Then you lift it up. Then after lifting, you uh, there's a depression here. You pull the depression. Then you open. Then you insert. <laughs> For those of us who are fond of exposing the beach boys, now. We are safe. You can always be getting inside the water comfortably. You're not afraid of the waves. I have a plan. And the plan today is go test the GoPro waterproof casing at the river. Join me to the river. <laughs> now, the good thing with being at the village, everything you get at your disposal. So, look. From this place, this is where we get sugar came from. So you only need to shout and the owner comes out and they sell at a very cheap price. So this is the road to the river. Very dusty road. So I need to walk very carefully. Need to be extra careful. So for now I'm not buying the sugar cane and I will be coming for it much later probably once I'm done with this vlog we haven't had rains lately so that's why we, we, we having this much dust so we wanna be testing our GoPro waterproof casing from that side I'm headed to Mwogo wa jangombe Jauramba mwiko Usituka ne wakunga Na uzazi ungalipo Basically that's a Tarab song which says which translates to never break a bridge once you cross, you still need it.
That's something by a big do they? Anyone watching me from East Africa, I want you to leave a comment whether you have ever heard of Big Kedode. I remember this lady died on 2nd of June, the year was 2013. I was, I was to travel to Mombasa, so I have a good memory about her. Since I loved her, I loved her music. She died at a very old age. And guess what? The week before she, did, she died, and not the week, the day before she died, uh, she was on stage performing. So it had got to a point that guys used to provide a seat, a chair, for her to sing while seated. <laughs> See, she loved music that much. She loved performance that much. And up to today, up to today, I don't think we have ever got someone else like her. Someone who is able to perform at her age like her. I should describe her as sassy. Yeah? I just describe, describe her whole woman as sassy. <laughs> but she's tough. She was tough, for sure. So the goal is to test this casing today. The water is a bit dirty, but we need to test. It might not be able to film inside water, but uh, we're hoping that the water doesn't penetrate inside this casing. So here, you no, know, where we, you, you see here, where we have the the lenses, then uh, the button. Another button here. And finally, we are at our final destination. Welcome to the river. I don't know the name of this river. Maybe Gema River. Maybe the Moran River. Maybe the Maasai River. Or the Maasai Chikui River. So this is a ranch, this wilderness, where the Maasai people, yeah, um, feed their cattle from. So it's a big piece of land. And now it's time for the most unexpected time. Let's see how it goes. So, again, we open it. As usual, you press the button, then pull up. You see? Yeah, you can see it well. There's the depression here, as usual. You pull it, then insert your camera. <laughs> Yeah, I've already inserted my camera. We wanna be testing. Now to the river. I've got the camera in for me. One, two, three. I'm only hoping it's still working. So the goal is to expose the beach boys at the beach. I'll be heading to the beach in the next two weeks. So you guys should be ready for this. You should be ready for this. Don't you love Africa? 
Don't you love everything about Africa? Look at how Africa is so beautiful. Very beautiful. We do have no industry at this place. So the air you breathe, very fresh. The food you eat are, say, very fresh from the garden. That's a garden. All that. A garden. So today I want to be taking you to a different location. We want to explore. So when we are this side, I remember I was filming with my waterproof, waterproof casing still on. I haven't removed it. We're hoping that it's clear enough. Whoever is just joining, my name is Gossi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber based in Kenya, Africa. Kenya is motherland. Africa is motherland. Yeah. I wish to appreciate the community around me. The Black Geo, starting the Black Geo. We have Mr. Obama, Peter. We have CS Explorer. We have the Flying Queen. We have Machiavelli. And I can't forget my all, my all time subscribers, you know. Without my subscribers, I can't be here doing what I do. So much appreciation my subscribers. So whoever hasn't subscribed, you can least subscribe. Let's build a community together. I remember when I was starting my YouTube channel, I could sit, yeah? Like now I'm about to sit somewhere here. I could sit, then express my love for Africa, my love for my subscribers. And now I'm about to express my appreciation to my subscribers. So kindly, I want everyone to subscribe to my channel, share the link with your friends, yeah, and please, I want you to have a reason as to why every day you must log into my channel and watch my content. I promise never to hurt someone's feelings, I, I never, never to hurt your emotions, so the content I will always give from today henceforth is a, is a content that uh, my community already approves. And by that, you guys, I want you to be commenting on the topics you want me to tackle. So you want me to, to, to react about something. Kindly tell me. Then uh, you can as well tell me the limits. You want me to show, showcase something about Africa? Please leave a comment yeah anytime you ever see me in your country like now i am in africa kenya so any country surrounding kenya that is uganda um, ethiopia tanzania somalia you guys can always be sending me be like ah go see africa i want you to visit and this to visit this and this place yeah that's my village. So I want to remind myself about my village. So please visit my village. And I will gladly do that for the love of my subscribers. Imagine you got carried away by this water. Remember, when it rains, it fills to that point. It covers almost half of that tree. So imagining you got carried away by the floods, the waters of this river, then you find yourself at this point. You can never survive. You can never survive uh, past these uh, stones, these rocks. What's the difference between a stone and a rock? So the master people are bringing their boat to the river. Those are the gods. 
these are not wild animals so probably I need to sit and do some filming I want you to see how wicked animals from this side of Africa Kenya so they headed to the river to drink water but before then they love this kind of food so these are the fruits they are competing to it yeah these are fruits by this tree you call it a sycamore tree or something this sycamore leave a comment wow i'm loving this place this is a good place someone can just come sit here relax yeah try to process whatever is in your mind yeah. without population without the only noise you hear from this point is noise from the waters from the river and then probably the bell from the gods but they, i want to tell you the reason as why some gods are having a kind of a bell on their neck we have that one god which doesn't uh, settle at one place so it always rushes to go to someone's garden to consume uh, uh, their vegetables their what anything at the, at, at the farm so you have to make sure that it has a bell to notify you it's at, it's at that and that point for you to rush before it gets to that point or for you to go and uh, chase it from that point you see those are the birds i'm talking about so if your animal misbehaves it must have that bell on it those are ships So this is the countryside of Kenya. At first I used to get some stories from my subscribers, I am missing the life of the countryside. I'm missing taking care of my sheep, my goat, my cattle. And I really don't understand, I never understood what they meant. I never knew that someone can miss the life of the countryside. Remember I grew up at the countryside and I saw it as normal. You live in the countryside and you head to the city. So now I understand. You get back to countryside and you're able to uh, relax your mind. At this point, no one is asking you questions. No one is asking why you are here, why you are filming. You're not occupying anyone's space. You're free to do whatever you're doing. So, why should I not be here? Yeah, I love this part. I love this spot. Yeah, love this part of Africa. So, I guess at this point, the Marseille ladies look for, look after. The sheep and the goats. Then men look after the cattle. So this is a lady, a woman and a small girl. They are looking for the after the flock. Wow. So that's how it sounds.
you have to accompany them because we have wild animals still around. We have leopards, cheetahs, lions, and still we might uh, be having uh, the cattle rustler, thieves, someone who, who targets uh, your animal. You not uh, around your animal, they can't pick it. And you know, those um, doing rustling can always take it by force. So they really don't need to, uh, to hide when they come in for you. They just pick it by force. And most of them are harmed. So I learned that they, lately they do have phones. They do have um, communication gadgets. So when you have, you need, when you happen to see someone uh, trying to steal your animal, you make a call. Call the Morans. They come and defend you. Until I have the sounds. This is a shed for the Maasai people. Then what I'm about to showcase here, the circular setup here, that's where this community vaccinates their animals from. Anytime they need to spray their animals as well, they come and spray them from this point. So they do it next to the river, whereby they can get water there easily and uh, dilute with the you call it the medicine yeah whatever they they using to spray their animals with yeah they they take it to this point so that that's where someone stands here this is a gate <laughs> an open gate so someone stands here and blocks every cattle or goat from escaping now this is africa and that's different from what happens in your country, I'm very sure. Oh. Allow me to end the video from this point. So my name is Gossi Africa. I'm a YouTuber and a traveler based in Kenya, Africa. Have a good bye.